down in the locker room here at Stambaugh Stadium with head coach Ryan Beard. Another tough Missouri Valley Conference road test for the Bears today, Ryan, but you come up short. It was a good start for the Bears today. We've talked about some of the slow starts this team's experienced, but you guys got out early, got on the scoreboard first against the nationally ranked Penguins. Yeah, we keep talking consistency. Sure, we started fast, but you've got to be able to maintain it when you're playing good football teams. Basically, everything that you want to do against a good football team, we had times where we did the opposite. We were penalized a ton today, which is not us. We gave up explosive plays on defense. We are moving the ball on offense in that second half. You can't turn it over in a critical situation. And again, we just got to have to continue to get better and uh, understand how to put a full football game together. Well, one of the things that was a struggle in the first half, I know, was Bryce Oliver. It seemed like every time I looked up, that young man had the football. What sort of matchup problem did he create for you all? Yeah, he's a talented player. That's why he's been an All-American for two years in a row. Uh, he made some great contested catches and, you know, it's one of those things that you just got to compete with him, do the best you can. And we were, again, we, we rolled some coverage over him, and he was able to make a few plays anyway. But you ended up pitching a shutout against him in the second half. I say he was targeted maybe once in the entirety in the second half. Yeah, we tried to help the corners out a little bit coverage-wise. And we were able to stop the run because, you know, it's a good running football team. We did that. But again, on the other side, it kicked us on defense with uh, the explosive pass plays. Say, were you surprised at the success you had against the run game? This is a team that went for 306 yards on the ground in their last Missouri Valley football conference game. But you all were able to just completely shut that down for the majority <coughs> of the first three quarters. Yeah, that was the plan going into the football game, making one dimensional. Um, they were explosive in the past game today and again you got to make a decision when you go in with the plan on what you're going to take away and, and again hats off to that group they're big they're physical they can stretch the field vertically quarterback's got a big arm and his wide receivers made some great plays for him you've wanted to be committed to the run all season this is a team one of 13 teams in the fcs that has not allowed 100 yards rushing all season you guys were at that number by the end of the third quarter yeah the offense was efficient for the most part in, in running the football um, you know, we got to do better on defense, giving them more opportunities. Our, our third downs were pathetic in the first half. We were able to settle it in a little bit in the second half and continue to compete. But we have to give the offense more opportunities to touch the football. That way, again, they can continue to be efficient running the ball, stretching the field, and uh, make some more plays. You mentioned the, the penalties earlier. I know you can't comment on them, but it seemed like for me, it seemed like those were tied to the third downs. Every time you guys needed a third down, there was one of two things were going to happen. We either couldn't get to that third down marker or there was another really poorly timed penalty. Yeah, we had penalties in critical situations. And again, we're in the Valley. We play in the best conference there is. You can't, especially on the road, you know, you know you're not going to get anything on the road. you got to play smart football, play clean football. And we weren't able to do that today. Uh, the running game today, talk about the success you had against one of the better run defenses in the country in FCS. Uh, was surprised that Jacardier Wright wasn't a part of it early. He ended up being a part of it as the game went on. But you guys had a lot of success using, utilizing your other running backs early in this one. Yeah, we've got some great other backs. We have a ton of juice. Jacari Moses did great. Uh, you know, Jaden Bex is, is, does a phenomenal job in there as well. Jacardier, is, he's pretty beat up. Um, obviously, you can tell when he's running the ball, he gives us what he can, but we got to continue to protect him in practice and make sure we can get him to game day. Ryan, thank you for the time. Have a safe trip home. Thanks, Corey.